Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I really did not expect that I'd be playing this. I originally laughed at the concept of this game. I laughed all the way up until the end of the teaser trailer, and when they actually started showing a little bit of gameplay for this game, and I'm like, holy shit, this actually looks fun, and I'm going to be buying this game. Which is a weird feeling. Do they have DLC for this? I hope they don't have DLC for this already, that'd be weird. Oh well. Uh, do I have any of the four amiibos? No. All right, Beepo. That ought to fix the overheating problem. Can you believe it's been three months since Tech Magazine put me? Okay, us on the cover? The Super Merge takes item A and item B and combines them to create item C. Oh, if only it were that easy. The article says nothing about dark matter, space time manipulation, practical applications, nothing. I mean, the Super Merge could solve the energy crisis, Beepo. Watch. <laughs> Huh? Oh, not again. Oh, I'm sorry, Beepo. Let's take a break and come back at this overheating thing fresh, okay? I was really curious why Mario wasn't being sucked in initially there. It's like, but everybody else is flying into the sky. Why does he have to jump for it? Why do I have ears? Well, I hope you're happy.
stop that. Dashing narrow ne'er do wells, Ziggy. Those rabbits, they seem driven to cause chaos and mayhem, more so than usual, even. Unlike our two friends here, they seem to have been corrupted by that rabbit wearing the super merge headset. Could it be the super merge headset was corrupted and on its way to this world? If so, we're all in terrible danger. Mario, we must find that poor rabbit fused to the headset. He's the key. Save him. We might save this world. Huh. This is different. Okay, so we got coins. We've got some kind of health system that I guess looks like it persists between, uh, between fights. That's concerning. A shocking, although admittedly hilarious, example of the chaos wrought by the intrusion of our world into this one. I like it how the Goombas kind like they kind of care, but they kind of don't. They're just like, eh, eh, and then they just kind of give up. Can I jump? Can I do anything here? No, it looks like I'm just like flat. All right. Yeah, the animation for this game is great. Sound design is really well done. I love it that Princess Peach runs like a ninja, a bad ninja, but a ninja nonetheless. Thank you so much. Oh, what is it now? Uh, I've just received a message. To dearest Beepo, whose bravery, intelligence, and compassion stand as a beacon of hope for us all. If my timing is correct, you are in dire need of help. FB. Bowser? Probably not. Please open the attachments to this message. Their receipt is most auspicious, I assure you. Signed, your biggest fan. Why would FB be Bowser? I don't know, I'm just halfway hoping Bowser's like secretly helpful. Because it'd be hilarious. Probably not though. Someone will spoil this for me inevitably. The hell does the Luigi Rabbit have? Wow! When that email said attachments, I thought it was talking about cat videos or something. So, you guys ready to fight back? Okay, learn the basics. Careful now, my sensors detect two enemies on the battlefield. One is hiding behind partial cover, so your chance to hit is 50%. The other is out in the open, giving you a 100% chance to hit. You can cycle through targets with the left stick. Press A to shoot the selected target. And he is just dead. Wait, what's Dwarf Star? Oh, it's like the same thing? Oh, that's interesting. Now, can I move? No, it doesn't look like it can move. I guess we'll learn how to move later. 
Now, is it actually a 50% chance to hit, or is it a 50% damage reduction? I don't actually know. It looks like because we destroyed part of the cover, we also got an extra coin. Or it was from killing the guy. I really don't know. Okay. So this is probably indestructible. Maybe with like shots? Cowards! Now they're all behind full cover. We have a 0% chance of hitting them from here. We'll only hit their cover. We'll need to flank them. Move around with the left stick to position yourself for a shot with a 100% chance of hitting. Okay, so... Yeah. And the animation's really good. And Grant Kirkhope definitely did like a wonderful job with the soundtrack here. He is not dead yet. I wonder if we get different uh, types of equipment in this game. We might. We probably do. Okay. This game has difficulty, you might want to turn it up. It's easier than your average XCOM. See, I'm not a big fan of, like, high, uh, full difficulty XCOM. I will be to totally honest with you. I, I'm i more kind of here for a casual fun experience, and I am not going to hit it all. And it doesn't look like that. That cover goes down. Oh, I can even fast forward. That's super helpful. What do we think? Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> the dumb expression. I feel like he should be cowering more based on my uh, my presence to him. I wonder if I like get up close ne next to him if I get to do anything else. So we just have the lightning shark. Yeah, so there's probably different types of equipment that we get here. Might be really easy. I've actually heard that this game is decently not difficult, but it's like the right level of challenging. Okay, so we do heal back up, but we might not heal the full. Okay, so completed, perfect, perfect. I don't know. Oh, did I? Yeah, I just bumped into my own life stand. Always getting into the right uh, position is. You know, takes work. Oh, hi? Oh, hi. I recognize those blocks from the basement. I hope they're more structurally sound than the super, uh, after the super merge, but I doubt it. See, I was actually hoping we, we'd get the super merge ourselves so we could, like, combo things together for bonuses. Oh, hi. <laughs> Leafy World, you found a new item. If only there were somewhere you could check it out. Well, yeah, I can't I can't interact with this. Grades are based on how many turns you take, so try and beat encounters as fast as possible. Good to know, thank you. There in the sky, see that? It began the moment the rabbits teleported into the mushroom kingdom. Huh, the energy we've seen floating upwards after we defeat an en enemy. I wonder. All the more reason to catch that rabbit with a super merge headset. He's the key to stopping this, I'm sure of it. So, red coin? Maybe for like a door? I'm not sure. Well, might as well get them all over here. What is this? Oh, do we eventually get the ability to, uh, to bypass that? Okay. And this is... Brumblebee. You found a new item? Yeah, still... Okay, so it's that's a new weapon. Somehow. I... Oh! Oh, it's a switch! Okay, cool. So, we got some switches here we can flip, and that should give us access to more of the level. I am... I am actually finding it kind of hard to talk over this game because there's just so much. You found a new item! Yay! So I guess we get an inventory later. But like, there's just so much like random nonsense that's happening. It's it's actually like kind of difficult to say words. Okay, well we have access to whatever this is. Oh good. I press A so I don't actually have to worry about anything. Wait. Oh, hi. Oh, those are bees up there. There's also a purple duckling. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best here, but 
be aware that I'm, like, completely flabbergasted by everything that's going on. Not because it's, like, too complicated or anything like that, but just because this is a lot more to take in than I was kind of expecting. <laughs> I really was expecting this to be much more of, like, kind of a, a goofy nonsense game. And it is a goofy nonsense game, but it's, like, actually well made, which is bizarre. If one of your characters is down in combat, it will affect your grade. Complete as many puzzles as you find, many unlocked viable weapons. Good to know. Well, I guess I can always come back. There's no reason why I should uh, worry about this too much. Usually it looks like I'm just getting uh, blueprints, switches, and junk. I don't even know what that does. I'm curious about the... wait, what was that? There's like a video icon, but... Oh, it means I can't move the camera. I gotcha. I, I adore the environment design. Like, man, if if ukulele had looked like this, it actually would have been really good. Probably. I don't like being hard on, on other games, especially if people... I don't know. I can't. I don't even know what that is. Garden Ziggy. Find a new item. I don't I don't know what Ziggy's are. We we will find out. I guess I do tend to be hard on games if it behooves me. How do we get to this one? Gotta find some kind of weird green switch, I guess. Um And I already got that one. Was that tree moving? Oh, I see it was swaying in the wind. Oh, it's a cannon. Uh Sure, why not? I won't regret this, actually. I guess the green switch was here all along. Yeah, I'm just gonna explore the world. I'm just gonna grab as many coins as I can and we'll just we'll just see what we got. So I don't think I've been through the blue one yet. Let's go blue. It looks like uh all of the solvable, like quote unquote puzzles, the switch puzzles, are purely just for treasure and that uh we don't have to worry about switch puzzles to progress. That'll probably change, but like right now I'm um I'm like actually, uh, I, I'm afraid to progress just because I don't want to miss anything. It looks like I've gotten everything. I mean, I can't imagine it's too complicated. What the? <laughs> Greetings, sweet golden perennial of the prairie. We are. Why did you do that? Mm, after that strange creature with the headset got you, those guys have been nothing but bad news. I assure you, these rabbits are not like their colleagues. Oh, well. If you can stop him, I'll happily reward you. He's zapping his brethren left and right. Turns them real nasty. I don't suppose you'd come with us to help? Sorry, folks, but it's time this flower took things underground. Wow, that was bad. It does look like we have free access to everything. Like, we can come back. That's good. I don't know, I, I hate tactical RPGs where it's just like, by the way, you can't progress for some reason. It's broken for now. Though, considering how dangerous it is, I have a hard time believing the rabbits won't fix it. Oh, they only fix dangerous things, of course. Dear Beepo, if one is to prevail, one must practice. Please sharpen your movement skills so you can turn the tables on those rascally rabbits. I've just uploaded a few suggestions to help you guide your team in the next battle. Quick, sign your biggest fan. Oh, BF, big fan. Or, fa no, it was FB, not BF. You can deal damage while on the move by performing a dash. Select a cell with an enemy and press A. Also, you can cover more ground with a team jump. Select a cell with an ally and press A. How about an epic combo? After you dash an enemy, perform a team jump with an ally. Okay. Uh, can I... Ah, I can switch heroes. So if I do this, it'll... Okay, so he's faster. Okay, so we're gonna dash... And then we're going to... She's the slowest. Luigi-ish. 
Can I can I do this? I don't know. I don't know what this is gonna do. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it. Now, do I still get to shoot? I still get to shoot. Heyo. Okay, yeah, could have done that a little bit better, but is life okay? Can we? Can't do much of anything else because she's the slowest. I guess we'll just get right here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really expecting to master this immediately, but there's there's some cool stuff here. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, line of sight is not my favor. But that is actually really cool. I, I I should have had the peach go first or something, but that that's fine. What? The? Well, yeah, there's no way we can just immediately dodge it. Is it? These are some neat neat tricks, though. All right, let's do super jump. It'd be neat if I could super jump. Uh, it'd be neat if I could super jump straight into a uh, head jump. But it looks like that's uh, that's kind of a no-go. There's some neat tricks that you can do though. Like, I like this. Slide, flip. I wish you could go straight from a slide into a flip or something. And does this guy have half cover if he's like right here? No, he doesn't. Hello. It does kind of look like we're shooting him in his little rabbity nards. Oh well. Okay, you can super jump into a head jump. Maybe I just don't have the ability to do so yet, because I'm 100% super jumping into head jumps when I get the chance. Does look like I took some damage there. Eh, whatever. Later. That's a long tube ride. And now the cannon's open. I wonder how we, uh... I wonder, do we only heal from battles? Or... Because, yeah, that is that is a mild concern. Because extra money is useful, but losing people could be worse. Okay, there's quite a few things you don't get to later, as well as things to finish certain puzzles. Gotcha. We still don't know about the rabid, rabid peach. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, crap. There were, uh, there were coins there. I'm not paying attention. Yeah, I guess for those of you that have been watching this, uh, if you notice any puzzles that I've somehow missed, I'm gonna try and be pretty thorough, but sometimes I get like crazy tunnel vision, totally miss things. Uh, so if I do miss stuff, yell at me to go back. Cause this is one of those games where I'm probably gonna wanna grab everything for my own benefit. Oh, after each part they fully heal. Good to know. It's time to pull together everything you've learned so far. Attack, movement, Team jump, dash, don't forget about cover. You can also switch heroes anytime by using L and R between attack and move, and ZL and ZR. Do your best. Okay. So, if I do Mario, oh, you can't. Can't do that, but I can do this. There's some weird, weird tricks. I like this. The movement in this game feels really natural. He is not dead yet. Find that somehow offensive. Let's pop her over here. That way we can shoot the other guy in the butt. I don't know if Luigi is going to be able to do it, uh, do all the hits, but that's fine. Uh, we'll leave the other guy alone for a moment. Okay, so I can do this to this to probably here. I don't want to risk anything else. Especially not with him, because he is hurt. Oh, and we still get a shot. Is there another guy in the back? Oh, there is another guy in the back. Okay, that's, that's fine. Let's see if they come forward. Ow. Double ow. Well, I said I wasn't gonna risk anything, and then we got clobber knotted. Happens. Uh, let's see. Nope. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, that's mo That's shooty movie. I guess if I, well, 
There's really no reason why I should do anything. Does this guy? This guy does not have full cover. All right, and he's done so. Yeah, my poor, my poor Luigi Mario, or not Mario, my poor Luigi Rabbit. Dude is, uh, he's having just kind of a bad day when it comes to, uh, getting shot. I'm like, okay, I'll put him behind full cover. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot enemies can move. Well, I guess I'll just walk up and shoot this guy and problem solved. Yeah, so how's combat? Feels good, actually. Like, like, combat feels solid. It, you take a lot of the, uh, the elements from XCOM, but you put them on, like, much smaller grids. I guess it's closer to, like, Final Fantasy Tactics in terms of positioning. Oh! Okay, I guess that was the end of a part. Cool. Perfect, two out of three. Oh, so there's a par there. I wonder if you get to see the par. The big, I don't know. Mario, the creature with the headset, got away. But I suppose you did clean up the mess. And being a plant to my word, it looks like I owe you a reward. Ahem, our good friends Rab Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach helped us as well. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, okay, here. The levels do get much bigger. Good! I just don't know if this will ever have the, like, levels of crazy, like, verticality and line of sight and shadow of war. Uh, or fog of war, not shadow of war, sorry. Uh, sunflower, found a new item. Still can't check what it is. Um, but you know, the fog of war that's in, um, in XCOM. I think this is going to be much more of like a out in the open type dealio. Speaking of, look at this. A little side area that I missed. Seriously, though, this, this world design, like, we do almost not. I haven't learned how to do this yet. Mm. <laughs> you haven't learned how to push a block. Just so you know, there are lots of things you can buy with coins. You've just got to find a place to spend them. I was not aware he was going to talk to me. I was just pressing A randomly and then stuff happened. Well, life is a thing. All right, yeah, so we're we're out of luck on this. I don't know. I, I guess Mario really does not push that many blocks in many games. He's much more of a... Uh, a mover and a shaker and a... Hey, it's Toad! Do we get more party members, or are we always stuck with these guys? Uh, can I do a Toad voice? Wow, wow! Mario, thank goodness you're here! Yours is the first friendly face I've seen since the Mushroom Kingdom turned into this mess. Your timing couldn't be more perfect. I can't find Toadette. All thanks to the changes caused by these odd pipes or rabbit friends brought with them into your world. Yeah, I, I can't do a toad voice. It's like a wah wah, but I, I I can do like kind of close to it, but whatever. All thanks to oh wait no that was that was that okay whatever. You guys seem to know what you're doing, sort of. Could you help me find her, please? Okay, but you're gonna see firsthand how big of a pain these pipes are. There are eight characters, but you can only use three at a time. Eh, that's fine. Maybe, but they look so cool. Oh, please be quiet. I will admit the rabbit pipes are kind of disconcerting. Off-putting, I guess? But that's okay. But eight playable characters, so probably... Rabbit Peach, Luigi Peach... Alright, Rabbit Peach... Rabbit Luigi... Actual Peach, actual... Whatever, I give up. I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play this game. We'll find the characters as we find them. Since your toad voice is mostly with there, you can turn it into your kid voice. Yeah. What's up with this one? Bonus level? Huh.
Very awkward bonus level. I'll take it, though. These probably aren't uh, too hard, though. Cannons are more strange. All of them are strange and disconcerting. It's good style, though. Like, they, they really nailed it. For all of my, like, weird complaints. Wait, we already got this one. What? Oh, Turbine. You found a new item. Huh. I don't know. Okay, the four characters you have, and then they're doubles. Yeah. Oh, really? That That's l literally just it. Huh. Is there... Okay. I... That's the picture button. What's in the options, by the way? Uh, not much. I'm gonna turn off the vibration, though. There's, like, there's no reason why I need vibration. Alright, so I think with this, I guess this will be the end of the first episode. So, I really like this game. I, I, like I said at the beginning, I was not expecting I would enjoy this, but... It's got the right level of tactical depth. Uh, simple, but, like, uh, deep. I don't know, it, it's hard. It's hard to exactly, like, uh put this into words, but it's the perfect mix of, like, simple, charming, and actually, interestingly enough, like, to keep my interest. So, I can't wait to play more of this game. It's really fun. <laughs> they did a wonderful job with this, and I can't play, uh, I can't play to wait more. I can't wait to play more. So, I guess with this, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, uh, I'm going to be playing a heck of a lot more of this. Because uh, this this game is amazing, and I'm definitely gonna shoot for a full series. Plus, if any of my friends pick this up, I might see if I can uh, rope them into some co-op stuff. I don't know. We'll figure that one out later, though. So I guess with that, I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. And as always, thanks for watching.